Obamacare will dig into the pocketbooks of part-time workers at one of the Northwood's biggest employers. If Triggs supermarkets hadn't cut part-time work hours, it could have been put out of business within a year. That's what a consultant told the company. About two-thirds of the 1,100 Triggs employees are part-time workers. But if they work more than 30 hours a week, the president's health care legislation technically considers them full-time. That means Triggs would be forced to provide health insurance to those workers. The report said keeping the work schedules as they were and providing that health coverage would have been disastrous to the company's bottom line. Doing nothing was not an option. Um, it, was, it, it, it would have put us out of business. Um, there, there's, within a year, it would have put us out of business. There's no doubt about that. Um, so obviously we've had to make some changes. Those changes include promoting a few workers to full time, but the biggest impact comes to the 65% of employees working part time. They're not allowed to work more than 30 hours a week. That way, Triggs can avoid considering them full time workers. Yeah, they were frustrated, but I, I believe they also understood why we had to make the decisions that we did. I, I said, This isn't good for you, this isn't good for us, it's not what we want to do either. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of options. We have to do what we have to do to comply and stay viable. Companies like Triggs aren't the only ones facing employment challenges from the Affordable Care Act. Even school districts like Minocqua, Hazelhurst, Lake Tomahawk have taken steps to make sure their part-time workers stay under the 30-hour threshold.